another episode of MLB 22 Road to the Show. We are almost finished with the season this year. It's our second season in this series. Now our first set of uh, first season didn't go so well. We didn't finish what I was hoping for, but this tonight wild card spot opportunity for us. One game back. Can we pull it together and make it to the postseason? But if not, we are going to head straight over to 23. And tonight's series has been sponsored by Next Level Energy. If you guys are feeling low and slow throughout the day, go grab me some Next Level Energy. Everything you know will be up in the description below. Go check them out. They are very awesome and very good as well. Go check them out. I had the lemonade one. It, it, it's pretty damn good. And now, if there's anybody else who wants to sponsor me, links in the description as well. Everything you need to know will be on my YouTube banner at youtube.com slash Alan Hit it up your boy and try and get some sponsorships over here up on YouTube as well. So if there's anybody who wants to sponsor me, be my guest that we're going to get this game going on a Wednesday night. It doesn't even feel like Wednesday, but we're going to get things going here tonight. It looks like we're not going to be, I don't know, it's going to be tough. We're Now we're like four games back now because uh, those losses right there. But it is what it is. Stuff happens in MLB. We're going to be working our cutter pitch, pitch pitch, if you will. And um, hope for the best. Okay. As you can tell, your boy's pretty good. 180 ERA. We're going to try to lower it down even more in between the postseason. If we make it to the postseason, but like I said, hopefully we make it to the postseason. But I doubt it, so there is that. Everybody's not in a fire on our side. If you could tell, so hopefully that helps us out a bit. Also, appreciate the follows, guys. You guys are awesome. I haven't meant to shout you guys out. If you're following on here, go inside up, Oriole Park hit up my uh, YouTube Yards. as well. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. And now, you're trying to finish off the season strong. Baltimore Orioles. All right, ready to go here. Our starting pitcher in this one, Alan the Kid. He's been one of the best starters in the AL this year, singing. Believe it, a Cy Young candidate in the American League, having a great season so far, but he knows he's got more work to do. I've heard his name floating out there as a candidate, but I think he's just going to focus on this one today and try to get a win for his team. Bo Bichette up to the dish, fourth in the American League in batting average this year. Hope you guys do enjoy this episode. The wind of the pitch. That's oh, off the mark, and we're underway in Baltimore. First pitch, 707. And the 1 0. Good oh. eye right there. Not the best start, right? No we got a dynamic challenge. If you guys still do not know what a dynamic challenge is, it just helps it improve our player if you will end the inning without giving up a run or more to hit. End the inning with a walk. Allowing a walk. And we'll do that one. We're gonna throw him the cutter. Yeah, the righty deals. Yeah. Beautiful a pitch on the Really good cutter down. that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Another 
Seven foul ball. Trying to get him chasing on the slide over here. Next no. offering misses, and it's three and two. Screwball, maybe. And ground he hits a ground ball, ball right Odor. side. One up, one Beautiful. down. Da, na, na. Na, na, na. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Rymel Tapia up to hit. Hey, come on, guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. I know, strike. We're kind of on the inside. Count, both pitches again. on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. And ball foul to. Third base on. Righty delivers. Pop and that one is lifted in the air. Ten. Ranging to his right. Yeah. Makes the grab Riding on the run. Catch. Out two number up. two. Two down. Batting third. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Second in the American League in hitting. God damn, look at his OPS. There's that another one, rips. one deep, though. That's back there. And out of here. Damn. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. goes deep, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Look at my man, he's like, God damn it. He's in my bed. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. I don't and understand the why. Is George Springer. He could have. That is cool. He could at least the try to fielder, catch the damn ball. George. Hey. In there, and it's 0 1. We gotta shake it off like Taylor Swift says, you know? The pitch. The other way, and he beats the shift. Sweet, you're talking mushrooms. And my guy might be pulled here good. early. So, a man yeah. aboard. Now the left fielder, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Here we go, guys. Let's go. The other way. Base hit. How the hell you missed that? Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Just so sound oh, in his How mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. He was and in the, the hands just too. continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash jam, in. Jam over here. Springer at second. Guriel on at first with two down. Next pitch is outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Oh. Next pitch misses. Two and two. There's some dog water.
Got him, next level energy strike. Swing yeah. and a miss, and he got him. Next Good level job energy at strike. damage yeah. control right there. Da, na, na. Na, na, na. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's mm. the Blue Jays one and the Orioles nothing. I got Mike and Cole Orioles, really, so uh, there's that. But in 23, we are going to be doing something a little different. Second inning set to go. Now it's Matt Chapman. And when you we talk about elite the defensive third baseman, no, this no, guy is at the Matt. top of the list. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look There's very one. easy. Odor collects it. Oh, the you get that one, Odor, but you don't get the other one. retired here in the second. Good late bite on that slider. Right, Got the hitter out in front, catcher. rolled over on it. Exactly what Danny he was supposed to do. Jensen. Danny Jansen to hit here. Kind of a throwback. No batting Come gloves. On Come on. That one's in there, 0 and 1. He needs a quick 1, 2, 3 this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Hey, we got one down. Yeah, one down. Now the 0-1. Next nope. offering misses down and away. Oh, James oh, Kingsley, right. our plate Shinder. umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding in those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's earned it, the umpire rolls with him. And a pitch. Got him! Next level is the velocity. Blessed it right past it. Early for ascending, but we picked up the pace here in the second. Kevin 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 Biggio Biggio up to the plate. The second pace here. Kevin Biggio. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. Oh, one. Hey, two way, two way. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next inside one off the one. plate inside. And that is ball one. The pitch. Oh, yes, that one is a strikeout. Strike and that is that. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, but they lead it one to nothing. Hopefully the boys can pick up some runs here in the bottom of inning number two. New inning getting started. And now for the Jays, Bo Bichette. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Next offering is fouled back. And here it comes. Now one this. and two. Very it's nice, very nice. Power, the ability to feel the arm and then the speed, really impressive. The next pitch misses. Ball two. Hey, two ball, two strike. Now ball foul to the third base. Still two two count. Try to get him to chase with a cutter, maybe. And he deals. Bounce to the right. Odor picks it up. That Good boy Odor. Retired here in the third. Pick up your slack, son. Okay, okay. Designated hitter, Rymel Tapia. And next for Toronto, Rymel Tapia. Oh, no, girl. One down. One down. He swings and fouls one off. If you guys want to stay tuned for MLB 23. 
you guys can by hitting that subscribe button up on YouTube, youtube.com slash I do read chat, y'all. That one misses one. the zone. And one and one. One down, base is empty. Got Swing him, and a miss. Level that one. is one strike two. two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And a pitch. That and a ball two. evens the count. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Here's the 2 2. And that's Out down and away. He Bye. should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. The Got punch him. out there. Now two out. Down. Gets him swinging with that screwball, and it was a good one. You know, the screwball is no, often compared no, to a changeup because of the velocity Vladimir and the arm side Guerrero. movement, but the big difference is what you That's saw right young. there. A lot more depth or drop than most changeups, and it caused him to swing right over the top. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr., second in the American League in home runs. He ain't getting enough home runs today. I, I was being nice. First pitch, just no misses. No, this Mr. is a big guys. time matchup right yeah. now. And stop what you're doing, folks. Watch this go, because go, you have go. two of the game's best going a Cy Young candidate and an MVP candidate. Look out. Next Hold one it. misses, and the count is 2 0. Oh. Well, look here, Junior. I ain't gonna let you, I ain't gonna be nice to you, sir, okay? We already got pitch. one off. And... Ground ball, left side. Now the throw to first on the run. And yeah, the inning is over. That boy, ba -da -da. Na -na -na. Pure athleticism on that one. In the air, legs split a bit, and fires across the diamond. He's going to get a lot of high fives in the dugout. I like to see that one more time. There she goes again. Now if the boys can pick up some runs, that'd be lovely. Start of the fourth. Here's God George damn. Springer to start it off. Right here. What the Leading fuzz? off from the Blue Jays, the center fielder, George Springer. The kid back to work. And that yeah, drops no in for a strike. By your screaming. And the right hander deals. Swing yeah, and a miss. Ball. And it's nothing in two. The wind and the pitch. Stays alive. Uh, 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 Staying alive. Staying alive. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, right into the plate. Down, down, up. Nope. Gonna count one and two. The pitch. Very good chasing on the slaughter. Got and down, him, on strikes he goes. And there's one down. Da, da, da. Oh, that slider da, da, da. down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. But two strikes you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, they you know you've committed. Them. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. If our boys could pick what, up some damn runs, that'd be lovely. So up next for Toronto, Lourdes Goriel Jr. And he's already singled in this game. Ball next offering goes. is down low. Ball one. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play, and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Ripped on a line. Just inside the How line. It's down for a knock. And that's a double. It wouldn't have been a double that motherfucker. Wasting no time. He's two for My two now on the night. And night. Just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. He had a shot at that. Come on, man.
He had a freaking shot. And now Teoscar Hernandez. That's nope. pitched that's downstairs, okay. and that's ball one. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player oh, in a highlight yeah. clip. Guriel over at second, one down. Uh. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. Fastball in for a strike, Beautiful, and a count one and two. And a pitch. Got him with the cutter, and that's the Randy Strikeout. Here's now Matt down. Chapman. Third base. Sing, you talk about a guy yeah. that has all the yeah. skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And first offering is fouled off. Two down now. Here we go. Strike two. Runner at second, two down. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it. And that is that. Blue Jays held in check. They lead it 1 0. Can I, boys, please get some freaking runs? Please. Come on up. A real. Say, hey. Hey, get ahead, stay ahead. And welcome back. We now it's Jansen oh, oh, ahead. Or. Leading off for the I'm surprised I'm even still in here. The catcher, number nine. Danny. And a pitch. Jensen. Ball well, one, no one. strikes. Hey, no outs here. Nobody on. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Taylor yeah, racing okay. over to make the catch. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the, the third or fourth of pitch of just about every at bat. Kevin Biggio. And now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio went down on strikes his first time hey, through. All right, here we go now. In there for strike one. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. The 0 1. Yeah, Swings no, through that oh, one for strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. The 1 2. And a swing and a miss. Count on strike strikes. Yeah, there's two away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more yeah, fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially so, with two strikes, yeah. have to be ready to pull the trigger. Bobichet next up for the Blue Jays. That's First offering misses the mark. Counts one and zero. Oh. Here we go, guys. Two down, nobody on. And there's a ball. On the count. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Blue Jays go down in order. But and they still blind, lead it one nothing. Score, Jesus. Back now at Oriole Park. Now here is Rymel Tapia. To Toronto, the designated hitter. Hey, get ahead right Rymel here. Tapia. The kid back to work. And the it's first pitch misses one. for ball one. Jesus Christ, I'm still in here. That one hooked foul.
and a 1-1. Smash to the left side. On to first. Nice. Uh, lead off man retired in the sixth. Now battle. Bye bye, Tapia. Baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So up next, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed nice. off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. O'Neal puts it away. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Ripped on a line to center. Right, the catch. One, two, and three. that'll do it. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the six. Oh, it's the Blue Jays run. one and the Orioles nothing. New You're pitcher right. now, Keegan Aiken. Now He's pitching on two days rest. Number 46, Keegan Aiken. Please let us win. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game it. shutout because of this, all uh, the offensive series. prowess that these hitters are showing We're around just the league today. Sim it he up had total command of uh, this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. I got the loss, but it is what it is. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Nobody's perfect, you know, but uh, we're going to sim out the season here. I think our season is coming to an end here, but that's okay because we're going to head over to 23. So if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. We're also going to be not doing pitching. We're going to be doing something else. So if you want to stay tuned for that. Turn on that notification bell. Hit that follow button for more daily content like this. So we're going to check out the standings real quick. And then I already know we're already eliminated. So we're three games back. So we're just going to sim it up real quick to see where we finish at this season. And... Uh, We're just going to sim it up because I already know we're uh, not making the playoffs, so there's that. Yeah, so you finished the season 81-81, What the season was better off. Okay, so we, like I said, we didn't finish the season to so the postseason, but... That doesn't stop us now because we're going to head over to 23. So if you guys did like this series, let me know in the comments section below. We're going to create a new player for 23. I was so glad to provide this content for you guys. If you haven't checked it out already, go ahead and check out my NBA series. I got to finish that series up as well to head over to 24. And uh, just stay tuned for a lot more content coming your way. Until then, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Hope you have an amazing day, and peace out.